tutorial on Stata on how to import your data. Usually, you'll probably be working with either larger data sets or data sets that can be put into Excel or CSV. Now, there are a couple of ways how you can import this data in Stata. And Stata has many different types of data sets that you can input. For the sake of ease, I'll show you how to import data from Excel. As you remember from our last tutorial, we here have information on the date variable and the debt to GDP for different households in the US as a ratio of household debt to GDP in percentage point. And what I'd always recommend you to do is to save all of your files in a specific order. So you would basically save the file where you would like to use it. You browse, go to your folder where you'd like to save the information, and you put it in the file raw data. I would always recommend to have four of these folders here. One for your data, one for your data files that are files with the Stata decoding after you've cleaned them. One for your do files that we'll discuss later. These are basically the pieces of code that you'll be running and one for your eventual outputs. Then have the file here and save it under a representative name. For instance, household debt GDP. The name of the file doesn't matter that much. Just make sure that you'll recognize it later on. So now we have saved our file. And after saving the file, we'll open up Stata and try to import it. To import stuff in Stata, you go to File, Import. And here it shows you many different options of importing data. Data. You can import Excel, CSV, SPC, SAS, multiple text files, and other types of information, even directly from the front. And you can also import Windows databases and other types of things here. But you will probably most likely be using CSV or Excel, and they're relatively similar. So say that we're going to use Excel. We get the following thing. There are a couple of things here to take away. The first one is if you'd like to find a file that you'd like to import, you can click the browse button. With this browse button, you can move over to your location of the file. And there you'll find in a raw data item, file that we just uploaded. Let me click on open there below. And it says it's already being in use. So whenever you're using a file and you want to save it and use it, close it down first and only then it's able to open. So if you get this error, that is what explains. Then you open up the file and you see the following things. First of all, you see the worksheet. It can be the case that you have multiple sheets in your Excel file. Here you can select the one that you actually need. Subsequently, you can select the range of cells for which you'd like to import the data. Here you see the amount, the dimensions of the cell. We have three columns and 72 rows. In this case, the C column doesn't contain anything. So we'd like to remove that column, not to import it. So what we're going to do, we're going to say B there. So we click this item and there we say column A, one, two, column B, 72. And now we've removed the column that we do not want to have. Subsequently, you see that the name of the variable here is capital A and capital B, not the actual name of the variable that we have in the first row. In order to do so, we need to click import first row as variable names. If you'd like, you can also import all data as strings, but this is not often that useful. I'll discuss what exactly a string is and how you can use that later on in our series. So once you've selected everything that you'd like to do, you press OK and Stata immediately imports the data. So now I've given you an overview on how to load your data in Stata successfully. In the next couple of videos, I'll show you how to clean the variable names, what each variable type is, and how you can do basic manipulations based on these variables. Thank you so much for listening.